Hey everyone, this is Gwen. Welcome to my sewing and DIY channel. Today, I'm really excited to share my latest sewing pattern with you. The Pegasus Collar. This detachable collar is a beginner-friendly sewing project that takes just one single afternoon to sew. I just love the scallops and the unique front wings on this collar and I think it's a great way to add a pop of fun and color to your outfits. So if you're looking for a quick and easy sewing project that you can make for summer, this is the perfect one for you. The PDF sewing pattern is now available on my website and this video is meant to be the step-by-step -step video tutorial to supplement the photo instructions that come with the pattern. And for all of my YouTube friends, I have a sweet discount code for you in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out and use it along with your purchase. So let's get right into it and make something cute together. So you want to start by measuring your neck and picking the size that you want to sew for the pattern. Based on the feedback from the testers, I suggest sizing down if you're in between sizes. Print the sewing pattern and cut the pattern pieces out. There are two methods to sew the Pegasus collar, one with neckties and one with a bias tape. I'm going to start by showing you how to sew the Pegasus collar with the neckties. Using the collar pattern piece, cut two pieces of the fabric on the fold and one piece of interfacing on the fold. Using the necktie pattern piece, cut two pieces of fabric on the fold. I'm making my collar a reversible piece, so I chose a lightweight pink gingham for one side and a white floral fabric for the other side for this collar. We're going to start by pressing and sewing the neckties. Fold and press one of the short ends of each necktie 3 8 of an inch towards the wrong side of the fabric. Then press the necktie in half lengthwise. Unfold the necktie and then using the center fold line as a guide, press the necktie in half lengthwise again. Sew along the edge of the neckties to close them up. When you're done, each necktie will have one end that is stitched closed neatly like this and one raw end that looks like this. And we're going to put the neckties away for now and start working on the collar. Apply the interfacing to one of the collar pieces. Next, mark a notch about half an inch from the inner neck circumference. Do this for both sides of the collar piece. Next, baste the necktie under the notch to the right side of one of the collar pieces. Make sure the raw end of the necktie is aligned to the raw edge of the collar. Next. Fold and pin the neckties onto the right side of the collar so that they don't get in the way of sewing in the next step. Once the neckties are out of the way, pin the collar pieces right sides together and sew all along the collar raw edge. But <laughs> leave an opening of 4 to 5 inches to turn the collar right sides out later. I know I said this is a beginner friendly pattern, but the curves in this design do make things a little tricky. If you feel like you need a little bit more help, mark out the stitch line with an erasable fabric marker first. Make sure you reduce the stitch length when sewing and pivot at each dip of the scallop to make your scallops as smooth and neat as possible. Okay, here is the most tedious part of the sewing project. To make the scallops nice and smooth, the other thing you have to do is to trim the seam allowance. You have to cut out the dips and clip the curved edges like this. If you're not into this method, keep watching because for the next color and the next method, I'll be showing you a more efficient way of doing this. For this step, the key is to try to clip as closely as you can to the stitches without actually cutting the stitches, of course. When you're done, turn the collar inside out. Check all your scallops and make sure they can be turned out nice and smooth. And if you see puckering and poofy bits like this, it's probably because you didn't clip the seam allowance enough. So turn the collar wrong sides out again and try clipping the seam allowance even closer to the stitches. Once it's ready, press the collar flat. Don't forget to press the seam allowance along the opening into the insides of the collar. Top stitch all around and you're done. It's that simple. And now I'm going to show you the second method of sewing this collar together. First, you need to modify the collar pattern piece. 
See this line over here? Start by cutting and folding away this portion of the paper pattern. We are basically cutting away the 3 8 inch seam allowance of the pattern along the next circumference. For this collar, I used a quilting weight cotton for both sides and a half inch wide single fold bias tape in a contrasting color. Apply your interfacing to the wrong side of one of the collar pieces. You'll also see that I've got this center seam over here on this yellow gingham collar piece and that's because I didn't quite have enough with this fabric so instead of cutting it on the fold, I cut two single pieces with a little bit of seam allowance along the center and then stitch them together to make one collar piece. Next, place the collar pieces right sides together and sew along the dotted lines here. Basically, everywhere but the inner neck circumference. And just like before, we're going to trim the seam allowance. Instead of doing the tedious clips and notches, I want to show you what it looks like when we just trim the seam allowance entirely. So over here, I started off by just clipping the dips between each scallop, and then I basically just trimmed the seam allowance along each scallop to about 1 8 of an inch wide. Next, turn the collar inside out and press it flat. Now we're going to start working with the bias tape. Cut a length of the bias tape that's appropriate for your next circumference. We're going to start by sewing the ends of the bias tape first. Sew across the width of the bias tape, pivot, and then sew about half an inch along the long edge. Your stitches should be on the original fold of the bias tape and when you're done, it shall look like this. Trim the seam allowance away and then using a loop turner or something that's kind of pointed but blunt at the same time, like a bobby pin, turn the tips inside out. There, the tips are finished. Next, mark out the middle of the bias tape with the pin. Do the same for the inner neck circumference of the collar. Fold the collar in half this way and mark out the midpoint with a pin. And now using the midpoints of the bias tape and the collar as a guide, unfold the bias tape and pin the bias tape to the collar right sides together. Start from the midpoints and work your way outwards. The raw edge of the bias tape should be aligned to the raw edge of the inner neck circumference of the collar. Sew the bias tape to the inner neck circumference of the collar and we're sewing on the fold of the bias tape like this. Next, press the bias tape away from the collar. Wrap the bias tape around the collar and casing the raw inner neck circumference, press and pin the bias tape in place. And finally, sew along the entire length of the bias tape and that's it! Don't forget to check out all the photos from my lovely pattern testers on my website and use the code FLY20 to get 20% off your pattern. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about this pattern. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video for more sewing, DIY and a little bit of fun. Bye!